of for sale now vehicle max we have a 2010 nissan armada titanium version it is burgundy red on the outside with black leather inside uh, it has the uh, factory 20 inch wheels with uh, color coded flares um, it is original paint never been an accident has a clean title and a clean carfax you give you right now for free at our website at vehiclemax.net take a quick peek inside here and then we'll continue around the vehicle black leather inside okay the car is still in the manufacturer's warranty of three year 36,000 mile bumper to bumper followed by a uh, five year 60,000 mile powertrain warranty car has no dents, no hail damage, no love bug damage, no bird droppings, nothing like that. The car is in perfect condition and needs nothing whatsoever. By the way, if you're watching this video in Auto Trader, let me tell you, it will cut off for three minutes. If you want to see the full 10 minute video, please visit our website, vehiclemax.net. Again, titanium version, flex fuel, that means it can take that E85 fuel that costs about 30 cents less. Backup sensors, these are the ones that beep when you approach another um, object. Okay, there's two of them in the, in the, in the bumper, two in the, four of them in the bumper, two on each side. Heavy duty tour package with electric connection. Backup camera, and I'll show you that in just a few minutes when I back up the vehicle. Uh, it's got a factory roof rack, tinted windows, running boards, power folding third row seat, and a number of other options that I'll get into in just a minute as soon as I get in the inside. Let me tell you that we're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida. 33142 is our zip code. We are open Monday to Friday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturday 9 to 5, and we're always closed on Sundays. Let me also tell you that we've been in business since 1992 and have sold over 30,000 cars. We are, accredited, we are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an A-plus rating. You can check that out for yourself at bbb.com. Just punch in vehiclemax.net. All right, let's go ahead and get inside of the car and get it started. This car is equipped with the intelligent key, and this is a key that looks like this. And this is the type of key that you just put that in your pocket. Once you put that in your pocket, when you approach the vehicle, you don't need to take it out. There's a little switch on both of the front doors here. You press it one time to open the driver door and quickly thereafter to open the, uh, uh, the other three doors. So once, twice, now all four doors are open. Okay. And then uh, when you get inside the vehicle, all you've got to do is uh, sit down. It'll sense that the key is in your pocket. You step on the brake, turn this knob here, okay, and the car starts right up. Okay, first things first, nice and hot today, let's get the AC going. Maybe we can lower the fan a little bit so you can hear me talk. Lower the radio. Okay, the car has 16,571 miles. The car is running right now, I'm going to rev it, so keep an eye on this, uh, on this dial right here. 5.6 V8 and the reason I'm doing that so you can see that there's no check engine light on, no airbag lights, no anti-lock brakes, no maintenance service soon, nothing like that. The only thing that is on right now is flashing is the, let's see if we can do it here, the range on the fuel because we're, we're slow on fuel so it lets you know that you only got about 40 miles range. Okay, but no warning lights whatsoever. And again, the car is still in the manufacturer warranty so it's not like if it did it would be a problem. Okay, it has the, um, a uh, Bose stereo sound system, six, a disc CD changer with XM radio. Go ahead and uh, we can raise the volume from here. It's got a um, remote audio here, okay? You heard right. Never ending refills of our piping hot, hearty soups. And you can also um, change the mode. The mode means you're going from AM to FM to uh, XM stereo. But the XM stereo, you gotta change it here, okay? Right now, the, the XM stereo is on uh, preview mode simply because the subscription needs to be uh, added, okay? Uh, but it is capable of it, okay? Let's go ahead and put that back to uh, FM. We can put the music up. One more. Okay, there we go. Let's find a station that's playing music. Sounds real. The both series sounds so, 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 <laughs> real nice. Okay. Um, dual climate control. What I mean by that is, for example, right now, uh, let's put it on climate here. Okay. Lower the fan a little bit. 
Right now you can see they're both at 60, but I can go ahead and turn this knob over here and make the passenger side 76 degrees, and you can see the driver's side stays independently from uh, the uh, from the passenger side here. So you can have two couple different levels of comfort as well as the rear row passengers can control their own um, uh, their own temperature. By the way, okay, let's go ahead and check out the rear camera. I'm gonna shift into reverse, and you'll see the screen is gonna go to a color camera. Okay, I'm gonna back up so you can see uh, how accurate it is. Then to engage the bumper sensors as well. Okay, right there, starting beeping, letting us know we're getting close, but we still got plenty of room. This is our rear bumper, by the way, here. The beeping will go faster when we get closer. And the, you get the point. The closer you get, the louder the beeping gets, and you can actually see, uh, you can actually get very close because of the camera is very accurate. Okay. Uh, on the rear view mirror, we get a digital display uh, for a compass. Let's know that we're heading in the east direction, or at least pointing in that direction. Those three little houses you see there, that's for the home link. That's so you can program your garage door or gate at your complex. Uh, cruise control over here. Uh, we get automatic headlights, meaning we can set them automatic, and uh, they'll come on at, um, at sunset and come off the sunrise. So that's a pretty neat option. I'll leave them on for now. Um, okay, uh, the stereo not only does it have the... Uh, the mode of AM, FM, XM, but it also has this one right here, the auxiliary mode, and that is uh, so you can plug your iPod into that little uh, receiver there and play your iPod music or whatever you want to listen to on your Bose stereo sound system. Okay, we got a couple of power outlets here, okay, on each side here. There's cigarette lighter adapters or chargers, there's two of them. Towing haul mode, okay, and that's uh, in case you're towing a boat or a trailer. What that will do is that will make the transmission shift differently to uh, to adjust for the extra cargo. It also will disable the overdrive so you don't burn out your transmission by the overdrive coming in and out. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and pan over the um, dashboard here so you can see that there's no cracks, burn holes, cuts, tears, damage of any kind, any punctures. Okay. Um, there's also, matter of fact, there's no burn holes anywhere in the seats, door panels, headliner, carpeting. Uh, and it's no odor of smoke whatsoever, so it looks like the previous owner was a non-smoker. Okay, uh, curtain side airbags here on the front post, and when I get to the back, we'll see if there's any more back there. All right, uh, leather wrap steering wheel. Now I'll go ahead and I'll pan around it now, nice and slow, so you can see it's in perfect shape. I mean, this car is a 2010 with only 16,000 miles, okay? So it's not like, uh, we're going to find much flaws in this vehicle. The car is in exceptional shape. All right, Let me back off and see so you can see the string wheel. So you see, there's no punctures or damage anywhere on there. Okay, um, cup holders over here in the center. Okay, uh, storage here. This you could uh, so you could pay, place a cup here and keep it in place. Uh, this is your uh, your your storage down here for in the center glove uh, center console. Got a glove box over here. Okay, there's uh, the lug nut there uh, for the lock on the wheel, so they don't steal your wheels. And as you can see, we have wood trimming on the dash that follows on the doors. It looks real sharp, looks nice. I'll pan over the passenger front seat here so you can see that it's in perfect shape. No damage, no tears, no cuts, no burn holes, or nothing like that. Okay, and when I get off, I'll do the driver's seat. Okay, we got an overhead console here. Uh, it's got a storage here for your um, sunglasses. Here's control for the rear air, but you can also set it on a rear control. And as you can see, you can control the temperature here. Okay. And you can also place it in a rear control, and that way the rear passengers can control their own uh, their own AC. And you can control here also where it flows. Matter of fact, that right now it looks like they, whoever had it last had it on, so I'm going to press it to turn it off so you can hear me talk better. We got more storage up here. Okay, several pockets here. Another one just like it over here. Okay, move on to the rear. All right, um, okay. We have uh, vanity mirrors with extensions, and also when you flip this over here, you can uh, block out the sun from two different angles, okay? So it's got your extra visor hidden in behind, behind here. And it's the same thing on both sides. I'm not going to show you the other side, there's no need. Okay, um, of course we got power windows, power door locks, cruise control, tail wheel, power mirrors. Um, the two front windows are automatic. What I mean by automatic is one touch. 
you don't have to hold the switch for the window to go down okay and same thing for up okay I'm not gonna open all four windows I mean this car's on the warranty and everything works on it so so okay uh, here's another thing that it has which is the power adjustable pedals and I'll demonstrate that now it switches up here okay I'm gonna make them work now okay so now um, I'm gonna demonstrate how this moves back and forth here and these are you gonna use when you have a real short driver or a real tall driver you know this is um, this is this move completely independent from the power seat so it's uh, it helps out when you got a real tall driver short driver okay uh, Power seat and power recliner on uh, on the driver. Excuse me, on the driver's side. I pan over the leather and driver's seat so you can see it's in perfect shape. All right. Now, uh, when you go exit the vehicle, remember the key, intelligent key is still in my pocket. Okay. When you go exit the vehicle, all you got to do is turn this knob here, and you're done. Okay. So you come out here, and when you go leave the vehicle, now you have two options. You can either pull the remote out of your, key, out of your pocket and press the lock button, or you can just press this knob here one time. And now all four doors are locked. Okay, and that's what I wanted to show you about the um, intelligent key. Now to open it again, very easy. Once and twice for all four doors. So it's nearly impossible to leave your keys inside this car, and you don't ever really have to take them out of your pocket, okay? Uh, tilt wheels right here, you move this lever up and this thing tilts up and down. Um, Door panel is all solid black with wood trimming over here. <clears throat> okay, let's move on to the rear. Okay, this vehicle is also equipped with a child lock protection. How that works is you flick the switch over here, and what that does is that disables this inside door handle here. Just in case you got kids and you don't want them to be able to get out of the car whenever they want, you can control their in and out by using the outside handle here, okay? All right, um, this is a eight passenger. Three passengers in the back, and they all use an over-the-shoulder belt, including the middle row passenger, which uses that one right there. And, uh, I don't know if you can see it here now, but when I open the tailgate, I'll show you. And uh, okay, and then we got uh, two more passengers on the outside. In the middle, we got a full bench. Okay, and uh, even the middle row passenger has his own over-the-shoulder belt, also. Okay, if you don't have a middle row passenger, you can uh, flip this down and use this as an armrest with a cup holder here. Okay. Um, here are the controls for the rear row passengers for the air conditioning. They can control where it comes out, or what temperature, or what speed. Uh, here's to control the stereo, and there's also a couple of uh, inputs there, uh, right on their AM and on their um, auxiliary there. That's for uh, say for phone jacks, okay? Uh, over here, that's just a pocket over here, and then you got a large pocket back here. These uh, vents here for the middle row passengers, so that they uh, that's where they get their air conditioning from. And the rear row passengers have two vents for themselves as well. The middle row passengers also have these uh, vents down here. And if you pull this out, you get a cup holder here. And you get a power outlet here. Looks like whoever had this car didn't have any kids because this it's a remarkable condition back here. I mean, this is there's no baby car indentations on the seat anywhere. There's no stains, cuts, uh, uh, burns, or any, any damage whatsoever back here. Even the back of the front seat is nice and tight. Kids love to stick their feet and bend this lip out and even sometimes detach it here from the sides. Carpet is in perfect shape, it's not bleached or damaged anywhere. And the door panels are all the same, all charcoal black with uh, wood trimming here on the sides. Alright, let's move on to the uh, tailgate portion of it. By the way, all the tail lights and all the headlights are in perfect shape, they're nice and clean, they're not cracked or scuffed or anything like that. Um, let's open the tailgate, rear wiper, rear window defroster, all the emblems are in perfect shape. Uh, these third row seats are power folding and I'll demonstrate that now. Here's the switch to control them. They move independently from each other. Okay, so you can go into, uh, they lay completely flat and then you can go into like cargo mode with them. Okay, and as you can see, you can do it independently. So if you want to sit, have somebody sit over here, you could use this for cargo on this side here or you can move them both down, you know. All right, and this you see, you can see that they completely flat, so they give you now lots of space back here. Okay, let's put them back up. By the way, as I said to you, they move; they can move independently. I'm just pushing both buttons here at the same time to expedite. Okay, uh, this is the shoulder belt I was talking to you about for the um, uh, for the middle row passenger. 
go ahead and close back here and we'll conclude this video I'll come around the other side take have a peek from that angle and we'll we'll uh, we'll end the video tail light perfect shape no damage whatsoever to a 2010 16,000 miles perfect condition no excuses door panel give you a look from the side in the meantime I'll remind you that we're located at 32200 Northwest 37th Street Miami Florida 33142 is our zip code that we are open Monday to Friday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturday 9 to 5 and we're always closed on Sundays. <clears throat> we have financing available for all types of credit from very poor credit to excellent credit with excellent rates on both sides of the equation. For, I don't know if I showed you this before. The car is equipped also with uh, curtain side airbags in the front but you get also the side airbags here on the seat. Okay, And we have all another curtain side airbag here. Uh, let's let it focus in here, right there on the middle row post. Okay. All right, let's move on up here. Uh, right front door panel. Let it focus in here. There we go. And we got power seat also on the passenger side and uh, in our power recliner. Uh, I'll have you look from this angle here so you can see this in perfect shape. Again, if you have any questions, my name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. The website is vehiclemax.net. Take a look in here. All right, we got also pockets here on the side. Same thing on the driver's side. All right. Um, oh, another thing is you got also heated mirrors, and then you got a little uh, round knob here for the round little mirror right there, so you can use it for your blind spot. All right, we're going to go ahead and conclude this video, and I want to thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net.